Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm here to review Three Cups of Deceit by John Krakauer. This is a non-fiction book, I guess. It's like 75 pages long. It's basically a long article slash rant that Krakauer wrote about Greg Mortensen. If you're unaware of who Greg Mortensen is, because I am, he wrote the books Three Cups of Tea, and he is the founder slash was the CEO. Is it CEO? I don't remember what the title is. The leader of the nonprofit organization Central Asian Institute, which builds schools for kids in the Middle East. I didn't really know who he was. I'd never heard of him. I had vaguely heard of the books and I knew what the books were. I knew vaguely what kind of organization it was for, but I was wholly unaware of Greg Mortensen as a human being before reading this book. After reading this book, I'm no longer unaware, but I'm just as disinterested as I was before the book. I give this three stars. Krakauer writes a lot of very interesting nonfiction books about topics that I'm not necessarily interested in, but he writes them in such a way and researches them so well that I still find them very worthwhile and very interesting to read. This book was not so much. Not so much at all. This is about Greg Mortensen, and it's about how corrupt he is, and how incompetent he is, and just... It's basically an expose of Greg Mortensen, the humanitarian, and everything he's done wrong in his life ever. Krakauer apparently donated like $75,000 or more to this organization, I heard some rumors that funds were being misappropriated, and then kind of just decided he was going to destroy this dude and not the organization, but mostly just this dude. Like, he has a personal grudge against this guy, so he wrote the book. Which is not to say that anything in the book is untrue. I don't know, but I do have a great amount of trust for Krakauer as an author, so I do believe that everything he's written is either true or he believes it to be true. But it didn't seem as well researched as a lot of his books do. It didn't seem as detailed. It seemed like a lot of he said, she said situations. Like he'd call up someone who was a witness and the witness would be like, yeah, no, that's not how it went down. Greg Mortensen is lying. And like, okay, that's sketch. Don't get me wrong. But how do you know that witness that you called isn't the one lying? And things like that. And there was a number of that that was just like, I don't know that I 100% believe all these claims. But the main issue with this book was just that I didn't hate Greg Mortensen. Judging from the writing, Krakauer really hates Greg Mortensen. Like, a lot. And I don't know Krakauer personally, so obviously I don't know if he does personally, but going by this book, which is all I have to go by, he's really got a grudge against Mortensen. And I couldn't bring myself to hate Greg Mortensen. Like, at all. Do I think he's a great person? A great humanitarian? A wonderful guy? No. But after reading this book, I didn't come away thinking of him as corrupt the way Krakauer was trying to, like, describe him. He used the word evil at one point, and I was like, that's a little much. But it really does feel like he was just an incompetent dude. Like, he didn't know how to manage money. He didn't know how to manage people. He was a nurse who wanted to help people. He wanted to build a school in this small village in the Middle East because they didn't have a school there. And he was like, oh no, that's so terrible. And then the organization got really, really famous and really, really big. And he just didn't have the skills to manage it. And he didn't hire anyone else to manage it for him. That was honestly my takeaway. And I didn't care. Like, that is boring to me. A lot of the lying that Greg Mortensen did in this book was the kind of white lies that I honestly expect from humanitarians and people in that line of work. Because if you tell someone a good story, they're more likely to donate money. They're more likely to donate a bunch of money than if you tell them the boring truth. You're like, hey, I went to this village. I saw they didn't have a school, so I decided to build a school there. Only, for whatever reason, I couldn't build a school in that village, so I built it in another village. That's not a good story. If you say, oh, I went into this village when I was sick and they healed me, and then I built a school there to repay them, that's a good story. People are going to donate more. And maybe I'm just a cynic, and, but I don't know. That's the kind of thing I expect from people who are like famous humanitarians writing books like Three Cups of Tea. And that's not to say that I think it's okay that Greg Mortensen lied. It's just that I clearly see it as significantly less of a big deal than Krakauer does, 
like, I'm not trying to excuse him from any fault, but his biggest faults just seem to be, like, incompetence and stupidity and wanting to solicit more donations for his organization to build schools. Were some of the schools abandoned? Sure, a lot of them were. But that's kind of like par for the course. I don't know. It just seemed like this book was about an incompetent dude who got in way over his head. And Krakow was trying to portray it like he was this corrupt evil dude who was stealing everyone's money. It just... I didn't buy it. Like, I didn't fall into Krakauer's line of thinking, and this book was very much trying to convince you that Greg Mortensen is a terrible human being. And I just, I didn't care. At the end of the day, I couldn't bring myself to care that much. And the only reason this really doesn't get two stars, because it might be worth two stars, I don't know, three stars is kind of generous. There are a couple reasons, actually. Number one, like I said before, I've read a lot of Krakauer, I have a lot of trust in Krakauer outside of this book, just like as an author. I have a lot of trust for him, so he gets kind of the benefit of the doubt from me in some situations. Second, I don't know anything about Greg Mortensen, so this book was not written for me. I was not the target audience. I don't really recommend reading this book unless you have read Three Cups of Tea or you're interested in the Greg Mortensen scandal. If you are, I think this book could be interesting insight whether or not you agree with Krakauer. But if you're like me and you're just reading it because you like Krakauer, I would say don't bother. And the third reason it doesn't get two stars is because it's only 75 pages long. There's not a lot of time for me to really get super irritated in this book. It did take me three settings to read, which is a lot for a 75 page book. I just never really wanted to pick it up. It was just like a slog to kind of get through, but I didn't hate it. It just kind of seemed a little bit worthless. Just just a little bit worthless. And I don't have super many thoughts. Like, Krakow is still a good writer. It's just that I think he got so caught up in his own personal grudge and his personal feelings and that he needed to expose this guy because he donated so much money. And he's got to let the world know that this dude is a bad dude. And I don't know. I don't really disagree with him, but also, like, I didn't give Greg Mortensen $75,000, so I have way less invested in this than Krakauer does. I would also like to add that, like, after this book was published and after there was a 60 Minutes piece that Krakauer was involved in, there was, like, an investigation into Greg Mortensen and he was forced to pay back the CIA nonprofit, um, CIA, CAI nonprofit. He was forced to pay back the CAI a million dollars that were used like for his book tour and promoting his book because he took all the profit from that book and the company, the nonprofit, didn't get any of the profits for the book. And they were just kind of like, hey, like you can't do this. And then he was forced to step down as CEO. So he's no longer like involved in the organization. But I don't know. I didn't care about this book. Maybe if you're interested in Greg Mortensen, if like you know anything about the scandal and you want to read something more on it, I think this could be very worthwhile. But like a lot of crack hours just worthwhile not knowing anything going in. And this book was kind of an aberration, you know? This book wasn't like that. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm gonna forget it fairly quickly. I just, you know, don't care at the end of the day. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot in this book that made me care. Let me know down below if you've read Three Cups of Deceit and what you thought of it if you have. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.